what is up guys welcome to trip to the thrift number 76 so it's been about a week since i've actually went out thrifting because i've been kind of sick i made the unfortunate mistake of going to the flea market last weekend with the weather was like 29 degrees um and i went unprepared so i've been pretty sick for the past week so i haven't really been out but i've been watching a lot of other people's thrifting videos for example mick from fresh from the flea go check him out if you don't know who he is but i'm pretty sure you do and it's made me want to get out and go thrifting anyway as you can tell by my voice i'm still a little sick but I can't let these deals pass me up. So I'm out here anyway. So let's go see what we can find today. So first thing I see when I first walked in the door for $24.82, this Denver Broncos starter jacket. But for 25 bucks, I don't know about that. Shoe section's looking pretty dry. Although I do see some, something pretty dope right here. We got that easy sample with the half of the Nike swoosh. Very rare. That's the real heat right there. Here's a Cincinnati Reds, $3.99. This is a youth large, I wanna say. Yato, Yoto, number 19. Before anybody tries to correct me in the comments, yes, I know it says Vato, not Yato. <laughs> My bad. For only 95 cents, I found the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess shirt, which I'm most likely gonna get for myself, even though I don't really wear brown, but maybe I can make an exception for this. And then here's the Halo Wars shirt. Somebody came and dropped off all their um, video game t-shirts. It's pretty cool. I still yet to see this movie. I know people. some people were saying it was good, some people were saying it's bad. Uh, I don't know. I just haven't seen it personally. We got here for 95 cents, that Stussy tea. And then behind it, we got the old school Six Flags tea with um, Pinky on it from Pinky and the Brain. I don't know how many of you actually remember that show, but uh, I used to watch that when I was younger. Here's another shirt I would have picked up um, if it was my size. 95 cents is Diamond Supply. It's like maroon and silver. Pretty cool. And then another one that I would have picked up for personal wear. But again, it's too small. Where'd it go? This one right here, this is Dr. Mario. I don't even know what this is though. Mm -mm. Here's a Spurs selfie tee for $1.99, size medium. I was gonna pick this up for my sister because she likes her SpongeBob, but uh, I think it's too small. We got some more video game tees, the Borderland ones. This one right here for 95 cents. Another one behind that one for 95 cents. And then another Twilight Princess with just the logo for 95 cents. Just about to walk out and then I seen this. Nothing special, but I thought it was just kind of cool since the Gatorade pack did just come out not too long ago. Why is this funny but sad at the same time? Anybody know who they are? Because I don't. Who's supposed to wear this sombrero? Look how little it is. Oh, there's two of them. Check out the Darth Maul shirt that I found for $2.99. It's a Star Wars made in the USA tag. I'm not a big Star Wars fan, like I said before, but I'm not gonna lie. This shirt is pretty dope and it's double-sided. There's the back. Look what I see, but how much are they asking and what size are they is the question. 1281, size 7.5, hmm. I found these Air Maxes right here too, but all the chrome is rubbed off and I have no idea what year or what size they are because they're both missing the tags. They're pretty ripped up, um, they're pretty beat but they only want $1.99, but um, I think I'm gonna pass. Check out the custom Levi's I just found. The Teen Titans Go. These are actually kinda cool, I guess. Some Penny 2's complete with blood splatter. Size five and a half, $3.99. We got here some Energy Boost. Only $3.99. We got the Adidas reversible jacket. I don't know if it's picking up in camera, but this thing is nasty. It doesn't have a price tag, so they wouldn't sell it to me anyway. And then behind that, we got the Reebok Golf for $3.99. Pretty dope. They got these Air Max like 97 like hyperfuses or something for 15 bucks. 
size 10 from 2012. And then these Ultra Boosts, which I don't know what kind of Ultra Boosts these are, but they want $30 for these. And then for $9.99, I found this Chaps Ralph Lauren. Damn, I just broke the hanger. This Chaps Ralph Lauren jacket. Um, pretty cl clean, actually. The only thing is the strings like way, hanging way down. But um, for 10 bucks, you guys know me. You know I like my Dragon Ball Z. $3.99, my favorite character, Vegeta. Tell me why Adidas messed up the Dragon Ball Z Adidas collaboration. There are a couple of the pairs I do like, um, like the Vegetas for instance, but overall, they could have did much better. I'm the gamer, Triple H, uh, for 65 cents. Uh. This is kind of weird. I'm pretty sure this is the disc that came with the 23s, but I found that, and then Grand Theft Auto 4 Complete for 25 cents each. This is a very interesting game. It's only 25 cents. If you've never played it, I recommend at least trying it out. This is probably the worst place for me to be at being sick. You never know, unless you look. Let me get a hand. The world's most smallest Hirachi. Carolina's Panthers Christmas hat. And then why am I not surprised I found a germ guy in here. Check out these two Looney Tune, vintage Looney Tune tees that I found. This one. Size medium from 1997. And then this one's like a stamp collection tee or something. I don't know, pretty cool. And then for 250 size large, we got the polo big pony shirt with the number two on it. But that one's only 250. And then this hill figure denim. Um, this one's 250 as well. This crew neck. And then check out all the vintage Dallas Cowboys stuff I found. So I got this 93 crew neck. That's 250. All these clothes are 250 each. The t-shirt from 95, size large. And then another crew neck, size XL. For $10, I found this Florida Gators starter jacket. You got starter on the back, Florida down the side, and then it has that hidden hood. They want 10 bucks for this one, but it has some stains right here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get those out, but what do you guys think for 10 bucks? I'm here in front of Play-Doh's Closet. Let's hope they have uh, something good this week. There's not really nothing new in there. It's all the same stuff, but I guess I'll show you guys what they do have anyway. I got these Hirachis. They got these all red KD7s. These are actually one of my favorite KD7s, but size 12. Those are Nowski's for 20 bucks. They got these postseason LeBron 8s for 20 bucks, size 9. Uh, they got some maroon van skate highs. 35 bucks, size 12, not bad. Some Air Maxes, 25 bucks. One of the better LeBron 9 colorways in my opinion. I think Play-Doh's got God, guys. <laughs> that brings us to the end of this week's trip to the thrift, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you are not already. Go ahead and drop a comment. Most likely I will respond. And I will see you guys next week with another one, so later.